wondering how to use shears in Minecraft, this video is going to show you the crafting recipes for shears, where to find them, and what you can use them for. Let's first talk about how to get shears in Minecraft. In the crafting table, the recipe is two iron ingots crafts you a pair of shears. The shepherd villager also has a 40% chance of having a trade at the novice level, which is the first level, of selling you a shear for two emeralds. The last way to get shears is in the shepherd house in the village. In their chest there may be shears 12.3% of the time. Shears are a very cheap item to get in Minecraft. It basically just costs you two iron ingots or two emeralds. Also in the crafting table, if you have two shears that have low durability, you can put them into the crafting table and it will combine the durability of both into one shear and give a bonus of 5% durability. The durability of shears is 238. This means for every use of the shears it will reduce the durability by 1. There are several enchantments that you can put on the shears, mostly related to durability. So the first enchantment is the Curse of Vanishing. This enchantment means that when you die, the shears will disappear from your inventory. Obviously, this isn't relevant if you're playing in hardcore mode or using commands. The only ways that you can get Curse Vanishing is fishing, chest loot, or villager trading for enchanted books. As long as you can check the books before you put them onto your shears, it should be fine. Plus, with Curse enchantments, they have red text that make it clear. So with the grindstone, which usually allows you to remove enchantments, you can't remove the Curse of Vanishing. The second enchantment for the shears is the Efficiency enchantment. Efficiency increases the speed the shears can harvest items, but only applies if it is working on the right block. The maximum level is 5. The Efficiency enchantment is one of the better enchantments in the game, but is more useful on pickaxes and shovels. The shears are quick when harvesting items, efficiency doesn't seem to make that big of a difference. The third enchantment is the Unbreaking enchantment. This enchantment reduces the durability that will be used when using the shears. The formula is bracket 100 divided by enchantment level plus 1 bracket bracket percent chance of the durability being used. The maximum level of unbreaking is 3. At level 3 there is a 25% chance of durability being used. With unbreaking it could quadruple the amount of uses you get out of shears. And the last enchantment is the mending enchantment. This enchantment allows you to restore the durability of shears with XP. The items have to be in your hand, your offhand, or equipped to work. It restores 2 durability per an XP. If you have multiple items with mending, one is chosen at random. If the item already has full durability, the XP will go to the player total. It is a treasure enchantment, which means you can only get it through chest loot, fishing, raids, or villager trading. Mending is the best enchantment in the game. The value means it might be better to put it on pickaxe or shovels. If you have a lot of mending books, you can put it onto your shears, but shears are really cheap and it is easy for them to be replaced. Even though shears are made of iron, they cannot be put into the furnace and turned into iron nuggets. Shears can be used to harvest a variety of different items. Shears can be used to shear sheep, giving you one to three pieces of wool. Just killing sheep will only yield one piece of wool. You can use shears to harvest cobwebs, otherwise the cobwebs will break and drop string. Tall grass and ferns can be harvested, or if you don't use shears, it'll drop wheat seeds. Dead bushes drop themselves with shears. Without shears, they'll drop zero to two sticks. If you don't use shears on vines, leaves, and seagrass, they will be destroyed. When shears are used on mushrooms, it will drop five of that color of the mushroom, mushrooms, and turn them into a cow. Shears can also be used on tripwire connected to tripwire hooks to disable it without triggering the trap. Also, they can turn pumpkins into carved pumpkins and drop four pumpkin seeds. Carved pumpkins are useful because they can make a stylish helmet, but also they can prevent endermen from attacking you when you're looking at them. Also, carved pumpkins are part of the recipe for iron golems and snow golems. Shearing a snow golem will remove the pumpkin without dropping the actual pumpkin. With bees nests and beehives, the way to harvest honeycomb is with shears. The nest or hive has to reach a honey level of 5. You can see this when the texture of the hive or nest is different and dripping with honey. Make sure when collecting the honeycomb from the beehive or the bee nest that there is a campfire underneath. 
otherwise the bees will come out and start to attack you. One thing about shears is that you can also place it in dispensers. When you do this it will allow you to create automatic farms for honeycombs or wool. To give you an example I've created the wool farm. So how this farm works is that the sheep are enclosed in a one block space of grass. So when the sheep eats the grass it turns it into dirt. The observer will see the change in the block and send a redstone signal that will eventually get to the dispenser. The dispenser will have the shears inside and when it gets the signal it will automatically shear the sheep. Then the wool will drop onto the grass and a hopper minecart underneath the dirt block will pick it up and go into the hopper below and send it into a chest. This means every time the sheep eats grass and regrows wool it will trigger the dispenser. You can do this exact same system with beehives or bee nests to get honeycombs. The modification that you would have to make is having an observer monitor the hiver nest when it reaches honey level 5. At that point it would trigger the dispenser and harvest the honeycomb.